Morning, everybody. I know now many of you have had your three tests. You will have received one of these to take home with you and to test at home. So I thought I'd give you a very, very quick uh, briefing on how to do this, because having seen my daughter uh, get it out for the first time last night and have a look at all the bits and pieces, um, I thought it might be helpful. Anyway, here we go. So you've got this box inside. If you pull it out is another sort of small box. And that's quite useful because it's got a hole there to hold the sort of the, the test tube, if you like. All right. Inside the box, you've got some bags. That's to throw your swab and any other bits that, uh, that you've been in contact with away into the normal waste bin. You've got your instructions and inside your instructions, I've just dropped them on the floor, are tucked these little sort of ampules of liquid. Uh, and these are what go in the test tube. So don't throw your instructions away, although you might be given some other instructions, uh, because inside those are these. I already know one person that's accidentally thrown them away. So there's your instructions. Throw those away, get the new instructions out. And hopefully when you get new boxes, there'll be the right instructions in the box. Okay, and then you've got the little ampules here. So what I'm going to do, and sorry, cartridges and your swabs. And that's what you have. You have three in each box. So we give you two boxes, that's six it should last you three weeks, okay, two a week. The time to do it is on a Sunday night uh, or a Monday morning, so before you come to school for the start of the week, and then sometime midweek. So what you do, you take your swab, obviously you open it at that end where it says open, uh, and you take your swab out and you do what we've taught you to do, which is to twice at the back of the throat for about 10 seconds, just twiddle it around so it touches where your tonsils are at the back of your throat, and then up one nostril for about 10 seconds, uh, and, and that's that done, but try and keep it away from your tongue. And if you gag, obviously take it out. We've, we've taught you all of that, so I know you know that. So you do your swab. Uh, actually, before you do your swab, in fact, get the test tube out, get this thing out, and put it in that hole there like that, so that you can actually put the liquid in the swab. Take one of these ampules, okay? Now with these ampules, I'm gonna open them up now. With these ampules uh, of liquid, you've got like a little top. So you twist that top off. I'm not going to do this because I'm in the kit. You twist that top off and you add the drops into that. Okay. Now that you fill it up and it comes up just to the bottom there. It's not a lot of liquid in there. Having done the swab, what you do is you put it inside here. Okay. And then it's quite squeezy. You can see, look, you can actually squeeze this thing. All right. It's soft. So when you put it in, you squeeze it around the swab. So everything on the swab gets transferred to the liquid. All right, and you do that for about 10 seconds or thereabouts, squeezing it out, making sure it's all transferred. And as you pull the swab out of this, just give it another squeeze. So any drops that are still on the swab, if it's soaked, go back into the liquid because you need enough in this to put onto the cartridge. Okay, you then take the top of this thing, I'll just put it on, which was stupid of me. Here we go. You take the top of this thing and it flips over and then it becomes something that you can squeeze two drops, okay? And then in this cartridge, in fact, I am going to open that up so you can see it. Okay. In this cartridge, there's another bit in this cartridge that you can throw away. Don't worry about that. Let's keep it fresh. This cartridge has got a number of bits and pieces. This is the bit that you put the drops, not this bit up here. That's where it reads whether uh, you're positive or negative. You put two drops, put it flat, and put two drops of this on here. If there's any air, just give it a knock and it will knock the air out. Once you put the two drops on there, it's 30 minutes. And the, the liquid will travel up this. And once it gets to here, it will start to show. And it usually starts to show after about five minutes. If you get a line across the sea, that means you're negative, which is what you want. Okay. So, and the rest of it's all in, in the thing. You can have a look at that. If you get both lines, that means it's positive. And if you get a T line, that means it's a void test and you need to take another one. That's it. Then you need to log it. Now, I'm not going to go through the logging because we've shown you how to do that on the app. But the bit you need to scan on the cartridge is this top bit. That's because when you get to the barcode of the test, that is your barcode of your test, and it automatically puts that line along there in, okay? All right, so, you know, if you need to register it manually, that's the line that you need to type in, all right? In the booklet, in the instructions, is the uh, QR code or the link to get to the register a test site, but we've already shown you that, and we've already logged you into on the app, on the app. That's it. So twice a week helps to keep us all a little bit safe. Now, if any of you that are hearing on the news that it's not very accurate and the rest of it, our experience with this is it, it, it's, it basically tests high viral load. That means when it's at the four days in the 10 day period where you are most likely to be shedding the virus and transferring the virus to others, this will test positive. It won't necessarily test it early on or late, 
But when it's at its most riskiest, if you like, it tests positive. And some of you, we know, some of everybody in society, may be asymptomatic, meaning you might have the virus, but not know that you've got it, but still be shedding the virus. So this is really good to help keep us all safe. So I would recommend Sunday night or Monday morning, and then probably Wednesday uh, night or Thursday morning, something along those lines. And that means it's nice and midweek. You can do it a little bit earlier if you wanted to. But it needs to be three days apart between your tests, no more than five. Hope that was helpful. Um, hopefully uh, that means that you will find it a little bit easier than, uh, than my daughter did at home last night when she hadn't been told all that. So see you later.